Italy, the land of pasta and pizza. No, beautiful. I love Italy. But guys, this is getting more and more concerning. I mean, if you know my channel, I'm reporting about Campi Fligri, the super volcano that is basically right where Naples is, greater Naples area, Pozzuoli, an area with more than 6 million people. And that thing is acting up. And I mean, if we're you, most people think, oh, Yellowstone, the super volcano, this is so dangerous. Well, Campi Fligri will tell Yellowstone, hold my beer if that has a big big eruption that will have implications for the whole world and then there is Vesuvius everyone knows Vesuvius the big monster the big stratovolcano that is basically dominating the landscape if you're in the greater Naples area or Naples downtown you see it from everywhere and these over six million people they're basically squeezed in between Vesuvius and Campi Fligri Vesuvius that destroyed Pompeii we know what Vesuvius can do and it's been rumbling at Campi Fligri there's a Brady seism the risk for an eruption is steadily increasing and now Vesuvius has been rumbling but there is something else guys and when I saw this I was thinking no way more more for the Naples area so guys stay with me through this video because you have to know about this imagine an ancient village a beautiful ancient Italian village in the mountains would you think that this is a threat 56 kilometers away from Naples and that's why I have mentioned Campi Fligri and Vesuvius because now there's something else rumbling. Rocca Monfina. Rocca Monfina. Sounds interesting, right? If you go to Rocca Monfina, if you're traveling there, you're welcomed by a dense forest beautiful looking area there is an ancient village that is basically located amongst an unspoiled paradise of nature and that is called and here it comes now you know what might be the problem regional park volcanic area of Rocca Monfina and that is basically the mouth of the Gargliano we will get into this but I guess now you have a little bit of a suspicion what we're talking about so that incorporates an as they say inactive volcano that is amongst the highest volcanoes in Italy. So not something tiny, teeny, small thing. No, amongst the highest in Italy. And right now, if you look at the mountain, the shape of the mountain that is overlooking that little village of Rocca Monfina, um, it doesn't look like a volcano no longer because it's been quite a while that that volcano has been a active volcano. It more looks like a hollow valley that seems to have lost now all traces of its volcanic cone. And that's what's so dangerous in Campi Fligri, because Campi Fligri is not a stratovolcano like Vesuvius. It's an area that spans 100 kilometers, and where we had ancient volcanic eruptions, the soil becomes, after a while, very fertile. That's why there's so many settlements right on Campi Fligri, because everyone thought, ah, oh, yeah, Vesuvius is the bad guy. They didn't even know, and that's the problem right now, because they're now sitting on top of this caldera volcano that is active. So because in Rocca Monfina, but also Campi Fligri, on the slopes of Vesuvius, the soil is so fertile. We have Rocca Monfina, um, lots of chestnut groves that are growing there, fruit trees. So it's a, it's a beautiful area to travel. And something's happening there right now. But bear with me, I want to tell you a little bit more about the area before we go into the recent developments. Rocca Monfina, the municipality of Rocca Monfina, lies in the province of Caserta. That's the same region as Campi Flegre and Vesuvius, the Campania region. And that's roughly, I said, 56 to 60 kilometers. That's 37 miles northwest of Naples and about 40 kilometers. That's 25 miles northwest of Caserta. So in this communal territory is the extinct, that's how they call it, 
Sounds good. Volcano of Rocca Monfina. Rocca Monfina is a large Pleistocene stratovolcano with numerous post caldera cones within the whole summit caldera that it has formed and along its flanks. So it has quite an eruptive history that we can divide basically in three main phases. So the first stage of eruptive activity has built this main cone with lava flows but also pyroclastic explosions. And then the second stage of activity is basically defined by large explosive eruptions, tough deposits like volcanic materials and also a caldera collapse. So once that happened that this caldera was collapsing, the third stage has formed lava flows, domes and cones that basically still exist somewhat today in this large caldera area. They're not really sure when all this has happened. There's various theories. The latest study basically has stated the summit caldera lava domes at a time frame basically 170 to 150,000 years ago. Right now the volcano of Rocca Monfina is declared an extinct volcano. Um, it was active from, that's what they're saying, from some, what, 650,000 years ago until 50,000 years ago. The central caldera that it has has a diameter of nearly six kilometers, that's four miles, and the small town of Rocca Monfina is located, guys, inside of it inside unfortunately on top of a volcano they have always been saying the volcanic activity has been replaced by like micro seismic activity and the presence of mineral waters which is really great right and there are some footprints preserved um in solidified ash from an eruption of the volcano that they think was 345,000 years ago. They call this the Chiampate del Diavolo, the devil. So there is a series of footprints that can be found there. And today we had three earthquakes at this Rocca Monfina volcano. Oopsie, what is happening? And in light of the tension that is building up at Campi Fligre, and in addition, that we see repeated rumbling and earthquakes at Vesuvius in the higher ranges, basically Campi Fligre, Vesuvius. I have already raised the question, is this connected? Is the Brady seism that's happening at Campi Fligre, the land is rising because magma is rising to the top. A shallow magma chamber is filling up with magma. It's like you're blowing up a balloon underground, so it lifts up the ground, the caprock layer, that is what's happening at Campi Flegre right now. And it is concerning, very concerning. I'm releasing an update about this after this video. So the speculation was the earthquakes at Vesuvio, since it's so close together. If, if I lift up the ground, are the tensions traveling to Vesuvius and then is this causing these earthquakes? Is Campi Flegre, the activity there, causing the earthquakes at Vesuvius? The only thing that speaks against it, in my opinion, is that these earthquakes that we see at Vesuvius, they're right underneath the crater, right underneath Vesuvius, right? So now we see earthquakes at Rocca Manfina. So my first thought was, it's only like roughly 60 kilometers away from Naples. It's not that far from Campi Flegre. So does that also come as a result from the Brady seism that we see at Campi Flegre, that the tensions that are building up under Campi Flegre is that the crust, that is a stress level that is put on the crust by this magma rising up, right? And then we know if volcanoes explode, that's because the caprock layer can't hold the magma underground anymore. And by the way, at Campi Flegre, we know that caprock layer has lost two-thirds of its strength since the 1980s, since we have had another one of these events where magma 
most likely did leave the magma chamber, was on its way to erupt, but the cap rock layer kept the lid on. That's called a magma intrusion. It's an eruption if it reaches the surface. So it's not that strong anymore. So three earthquakes today. So headlines, extinct caldera volcano, Rocca Manfia in Italy was shaken by three earthquakes. That caught my eye. What's going on? Because that volcano is classified as extinct. Is this one waking up right now as well? Do these poor people that are stuck in between of Campi Flegre, Vesuvius now have a third one? I mean, there's lots of volcanoes in Italy and also around Naples, right? But this one, that's a big one, if it does something, right? So not only today, within the last four days, there were three earthquakes within the caldera. And we know what's in the caldera. There's the village. Well, the first earthquake, and that was also the strongest, had a magnitude of 2.7. So that's not a micro seismic activity. 2.7, for example, in Iceland, when we see these fissure eruptions that have been going on there for over a year. You know what I'm talking about if you follow my channel. 2.7. If there's a cluster of earthquakes, that already was enough to tell us an eruption is coming, right? So they don't go up as five, six, seven usually. They can, but 2.7, anything in that range, in my opinion, above two, has been an indicator that magma is moving. So that occurred on December 10th at a depth of only about five kilometers, so that is considered shallow. And again, this epicenter was located 57 kilometers north-northwest of Naples and even closer to Campi Flegre. And then the other two earthquakes that we're talking about um, each had a magnitude of 2.4. So also in the higher ranges so that it should maybe catch our attention. So they were registered this morning, today, December 14th. So for Rocca Monfina, the village that has the same name like the volcano, and if you're sitting on that village and you feel your home shaking, you might think, ooh, right? Or maybe not, because you're thinking you're sitting on an extinct volcano and, you know, what is this about? And it's a protected area, as I just mentioned. This is called the Rocca Manfina Poce Garigliano Regional Park. And you know, since the last eruptions occurred about 50,000 years ago, would you worry about that? I mean, look behind me. That has volcanic origin. I will make a video about that, by the way. I'm, I'm going to walk around and show you what's going on. So am I worried right now? Um, no, but you know, if the ground was shaking underneath me, maybe I would. So that caldera that collapsed, so about 400,000 years ago, when the eastern sector of the volcano collapsed and created that large caldera, um, where we now have the village, for a time, it also had a crater lake that had formed there. But if we go south from there, if we go south from that volcano, only 56 kilometers to the south, there is the supervolcano Campi Flegre. And in the interesting connection between both volcanoes is that when the activity at Rocca Monfina gradually ended, this is when the activity of Campi Flegre started. So are they connected? The question is, okay, if it's just tensions from Campi Flegre that are spreading out in the areas, why is it rumbling underneath, right underneath the crater and not somewhere wherever, right? Not where a volcano is. Why is it rumbling underneath Vesuvius? So the connections and everything, it's just observations. It's nothing that we can put on paper as a scientific proof or finding or whatever. They don't know because we cannot look 
into the earth. We cannot make a map of all these magma chambers and of all the connections that they have. But, you know, in light of what is going on at Campi Fligre, we should really observe all the changes that are happening around it. You know, it doesn't have to mean that um, Rocca Monfina is going to erupt right now. But could this be an indication that would help scientists that something's going on at Campi Fligre? We don't know, guys. I'm just throwing this out there. I'm letting you know about this because I find this very, very interesting. And uh, I will definitely continue to monitor this area very, very closely. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're wondering where I am and what's happening, check out my playlist, um, RV travel to save my dog, Apollo. And then you find out, and I have released just yesterday a video about, um, um, heartwarming like lassie style lassie the the collie the dog the tv show um what was happening with the dog that just came here and then pushed me and and was circling my rv um it's a heartwarming story so check it out it's here in the end screen Th that dog was calling me for help and was telling me something it was really circulating this area you see the rv i have three doggies in there and the dog would not let me go and then was blocking my RV when I wanted to drive out to get to Apollo's radiation treatment. You can't even see it so much on camera. It was lying in front of the RV. Then I called it and it looked at me. Then it was going right back. Would not let me move. Would risk me to drive over it. So heartwarming story. It's something else. It's not volcanic, but you know, um, yeah, I am here for another reason to save my dog and you are so actively helping me to do that with your donations on my Buy Me A Coffee site and with the supers here. And guys, this helps so much because this is monstrous. But you know, I I was determined, it, not because of money, I'm not letting this dog die. This is, it's my buddy and I really, really love him. And so, yeah, you're helping me with that. and. I'm so grateful. And uh, yeah, if if you want to support him, um, the link is in the description of this video to my buymeacoffee.com site. It's slash silky. Uh, subscribe there for free. Uh, whenever there's a volcanic eruption, I'm sending you emails. I'm not sending you too many emails. I don't want to bore you. Um, but also let me know. Do you want to see more notifications? So it's for free to follow me there but there's also the option to support this channel so guys i hope you're safe wherever you are um at home we have a storm going on and lots of weird things are happening to my house and my area um i have just released an update for my silver level members so you can see what's going on there it's a little bit yeah here it's there's no storm it's 11 degrees plus celsius which is amazing because this area should be way colder in the winter right now but it isn't so i'm enjoying this it's almost t-shirt weather so guys um, i heard from one of my viewers that some areas um, have been covered by like snow with cars covered in the U.S. like really, really crazy. So I'm going to look into this as well. And if you're affected in this area, let me know. How are things going? Put it in the comments. So check out this video with the doggy in the end screen, guys. You'll be surprised. And I hope you love it. I loved it. I still, I still do. For some reason, I hope that the dog's coming back. But I hope not because it's dangerous for the dog. And then I have to bring it. Then I have to do this all over again. So, yeah, guys. I'll shut up now. This is getting way too long. Bye. Cut.